if you think about being able to go into the fire, you know, A, it doesn't talk about hell. That's the wrong translation. So it's talking about there. That word is Hades. So it's talking about having the keys to Hades, which effectively was their understanding of the grave. The word Hades means hidden or not seen. So you can't see people after they die physically. That's sort of what it was trying to convey. So now just Jesus has taken the keys of death and Hades, which figuratively, because of the nature of the kingdom, he's passed on to us. So we now have the power to let people out of the fire of God's love by preaching the good news to them, as Jesus did. Jesus went into Hades, Sheol, as it was known in Hebrews, and reconciled all of them there, preaching the good news to them and leading captivity captive. So he took them out. Um, now he's given us the responsibility to do the same. So we do have the power or the keys of death and Hades. We have the power to unlock the power of death so we can preach immortality. We also have the power to bring people out of the fire of God's love, which is there is no longer Hades or Sheol. It doesn't exist anymore because Jesus emptied it and it was closed. But there is a place where people go into the fire of God's love within that realm and experience the fire of his love, purifying and refining them. So we have the power to set people free from that place by preaching the good news by showing them that it's unlocked and they're not stuck there forever. We can forbid death. No, we can only do it in our own life. I can't forbid death in someone else because they've got to forbid death themselves, which is why the confession of it, confessing what you believe to be true is the activation that says, yes, this is true for my life. But I can't say it over you. I could say it over you, but you've got to actually be in agreement with that because it's your power of your life. You know, I have the power over my life and each of us has the power over our own life. Now, there are obviously things where people can be raised from the dead. So there is a sense where the power of death is broken and sometimes people are raised from the dead. But for most people who raise people from the dead, they don't expect them to carry on living. They expect them to die sometime. You know, so we, we've got to say, OK, if we're going to raise someone from the dead, it's so they don't have to die again. Not so well, one day they'll die again. You know, it's like you might as well leave them where they are, you know. But we are coming into, I think, a revelation. That we do have the authority over death and the grave and we have the authority over the fiery presence to preach the good news there so we have the authority to preach the good news and see people come out of the fire purified and refined by the fire if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much